Thank you, Sheena. New at 6, the Target 12 investigators looking into a disability pension case that's cost a local town hundreds of thousands of dollars. The case has been in dispute for more than eight years. And during that time, the South Kingstown Police Department has been down one man while still required to pay his salary and his benefits. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Damon Borelli's disability pension application has been not denied five times and now is being considered in Superior Court. And right now it's the longest running case of its kind by about two years. In March of 2010, South Kingstown police officer Damon Borelli was driving from an alcohol enforcement detail when he told his department he was rear-ended, according to this police report. During a confrontation with the other driver, Borelli alleged he was slammed to the ground pretty hard and hit multiple times. He has been listed on the department roster under job injury status ever since. And as a result, we're shorthanded. Town manager this Robert Zarnetsky. This, this is an extremely long period of time. Again, it's been over eight years in appeals. According to the state retirement board, Borelli's first application for an accidental disability pension was filed in 2011, but we're told it was incomplete. Records show he refiled 13 months later, stating his medical issue was a back injury and PTSD. Over the next five years, he would be denied five times after filing multiple appeals. About three years into the process, Borelli claimed post-traumatic stress disorder as the sole reason he could not return to work as a police officer. During the eight-plus years since Borelli last wore a South Kingstown badge, records we obtained from the town state he received full pay, plus contracted raises and bonuses for unused vacation and sick time, totaling just over $550,000. Borelli took the case to Superior Court, and it could be appealed to the state Supreme Court. No, I, I don't think anybody uh, anticipated eight years ago that we'd still be down a man and that we'd be uh, still quite some ways away from a resolution. Over the years, Borelli went to law school, passed the bar, and now has 31 open cases according to court records. South Kingstown never opposed his disability pension application, but Zernetsky does question the process. Fundamental fairness also requires that our systems take into account the impact on individual residents, taxpayers, citizens. Neither Borelli nor his attorney would talk on camera about this, but his attorney blamed the delays in the process on the pension board. A spokesperson for the general treasurer's office tells us Mr. Borelli and his attorney have delayed the process at every step. More details from both sides on WPRI.com. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.